Hey guys, Carlos with Das Audio of America, back to show you how the Event 115A flies with the Event 26A cabinets. So these 115s came in on their dolly, stacked too high. Since I'm only gonna be using one, I'm gonna go ahead and unpin these. I took off the two front links, but I'm gonna spin it around so you guys can see what's happening in the back. So this is the pin and link that hold the two cabinets together. We're gonna to take that out, use that same hole to store the, the pin that I won't be using. And the rear link, I'm gonna kick up. And that's ready to put the bumper on it. We are using the AX EV26, same bumper that we would use for just the Event, event 26A cabinets by themselves. Rear point, front right point, front left point. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the wheel. Let's go ahead and bring in the motor. This pinpoint here that I'm using on the bumper has already been predetermined by Ease Focus. There is no other way, guys. There is no guessing at that. All right, everything seems to be attached. Everything looks safe. Let's go ahead and take her up. We're almost there. Hold that. Gonna go ahead and take this cabinet out. Bring in the Event 26 riding 6i on its cart. I'm locking the rear wheels, because again, I don't want this thing moving on me when I'm bringing these in. To get my pins ready, it will require four pins to do this. And I'm also gonna get the junction plate. This is the JP26, which I'm gonna go ahead and leave one pin in there, holding this piece facing rearward. This will go in the bottom of the cabinet. That easy. And actually, I just realized that I probably should have gone forward with these cabinets a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. To make it a little smoother to land these cabinets. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in. Trying to line up the front pins first, slow down. Quick bump, wait, hold on. All right, front right pin is in, front left pin is in. Now, onto the back. All right, since everything looks good, let's go ahead and bring her in. We're trying to line that up with this rear link on the bottom cabinet. Keep going, keep going, hold that. Now, I'm gonna put two pins in here to go ahead and lock this into place. And as you can see, there's already pins in this. We've already predetermined those splay angles with ease focus and already pre-pinned this, pre-splayed. This top box here, for instance, is at three degrees. And so hence, that box will stop at three degrees once it goes up. So, since everything looks ready to go here, looks safe, looks ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and Unpin the dolly, rear pin, right side pin, left side pin. All right, I'm gonna put my hands on it, and let's go ahead and take her up. Looking good so far. See how these uncompressed at the angles that we've already predetermined. Let's go ahead and take her up. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it around. And now we're ready to rock. 